Sean, Sean, what's up? <laughs> Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chote. Switching over to the 787. Exciting day. I am going uh, to pick up my new KTM EX CF350 driving like uh, 25 miles uh, north of the house to pick it up. I bought it yesterday, believe it or not, online. Not online, but over the phone. Called and put down a deposit and just gonna pick it up now. Now, uh, New Jersey with John over here. <laughs> and the foliage is, is amazing. The colors, the colors are crazy. place looks like a little diner actually that is my my new bike that is really cool do I look excited well I am <laughs> look at this the trailer now yeah, EX um, C350F sure you guys, uh, with plates for uh, fun look at this place <laughs> John, where is it nearby? Oh my god. Look at the smile. It's like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> Look what I just got. Um, we're gonna say. Okay, the next day, I'm on the same route uh, to pick up the bike. Yesterday, when we were doing the walk around, uh, the, one of the electrical uh, parts over there uh, was faulty. They took it in to be serviced and they said, you know what, we'll give you a whole new bike. They were starting to set up the new bike for me and uh, we just didn't have time, so I had to go back home. Next day, I'm on my way to pick it up, but this time I had a little bit more time to think to consult with a friend that has uh, both bikes the KTM and the Husky 350, 350 FE. And he said to get the Husky might be a better idea if I have one uh, at one point want to lower it because I'm only 5'9 and I won't want to lower it. It has uh, you know the rear suspension is uh, the linkage system and it's easier to lower the suspension. So that's where I'm going uh, to pick up now the, uh, the Husky 350 FE. So here it is. Here is my new Husky Husqvarna FE 350 four stroke. I'm stoked. I'm going to ride it back home. Sean is going to ride behind me with the truck. And it's a beautiful day actually. And so our journey begins. Uh, I'm going to get on the bike now. Sean is going to follow me. First uh, actual start. Uh, is the blue Sean is the blue and uh, blue light uh, blinking not blink okay yeah good so it means it's running uh, tall. wow not that bad I'm si So wait, wait for Sean. Another era begins of uh, moto vlogging this time with the dirt bike or an enduro bike. Okay, I can see that I didn't buckle, I didn't zip up my jacket. It came out as nice weather. A few weeks ago, I, I looked into, uh, you know, having some fun off-road. And uh, I always want, uh, many years ago I used to ride an XR, a Honda XR650. 
which was a heavy, heavy bike. Had lots of fun in it in Israel. But I haven't. That was my last bike before, uh, right, right after I got married. Got married and stopped uh, riding. And I always want to get back, you know, to riding again, off-road. So I looked into it. Prices weren't that that bad. Definitely affordable. So I said, what the heck? You know, you only live once. Let's do it. So what? So now all we need to figure out is where to ride because New Jersey is covered with 95% uh, of the land, of the property where you can actually, uh, trails is private property. Oh, the beep, the horn even works. So there are uh, some facilities, there are some uh, private uh, properties, land where you can uh, literally go and uh, pay a day pass and ride. Uh, we, did, we did get already uh, a first address over here and we have a few other uh, recommendations from people. So this is not really uh, a street bike. Although it's uh, street legal, but it has all the characteristics <laughs> of uh, of a dirt bike. It's very stiff, very light, extremely powerful. So Sean is right here, right behind me now, videoing. Uh, we're going to use her dash cam. I'm going 45, I'm trying to shift to the next gear, and that's it. I'm at 6th already. It's like, the 6 comes so quickly. It's not a, not a bike for high speeds, of course. A lot of low-end torque. You see this, Sean? Yeah. Standing up right now. Stiff. It was, it was fun riding up here, and it's not too cold. It's like uh, 16, 15, 16 degrees Celsius. I'm well covered. Oh, brakes are really good. Oh, brakes are really good. Look at the bike. Look, look at the fork dip. I'll try to figure out what this button does. I was told that it does some miracles. So, here I don't see anything. Not while you're riding, it doesn't. It is numbing somewhat. The shaking in my butt. The single, single piston. Going up and down at 8,000 RPMs. It's, the bike is just like has 10 miles on it, that's it. I'm breaking it in. I don't want to go too fast, uh, first few miles, you know, first few hours. But believe it or not, she's be way behind me. I can't even see her in the mirror. There she is. There he goes, Sean. Bye. Sean, Sean, what's up? <laughs> Uh, you can go. From here on, you can go. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. Yeah, six gears. They come fast. They come early. But there's six gears. That hole. There she goes. With the kisser mobile. The seat is extremely rough and it grabs my jeans. Definitely need a riding pants because I just can't even move on the seat. It's doing its job perfectly, even too good. Short gears. Gears are extremely short. I think only the sixth and that's deliberately done. It's a little bit longer yeah, for highway or for, for, for on-road riding, but otherwise, one to five is extremely short. 
Definitely have to get new mirrors. These are disgusting. They look like a retard. Retard mirrors. Square. <laughs> it reminds me of a, a little 50cc scooter. This, this is silly. <laughs> Definitely get uh, enduro uh, mirrors that can fold when I'm off-road. That's how we should be riding off-road. That's my shadow right there. The beauty of financing and good credit. Well, if you have good credit, financing is easy. You can buy pretty much anything you really want. They just put it on your monthly payment and it's affordable. So you can enjoy stuff, new cars, new toys, new bikes. Just put it on a debt. Live the life. Have debt, but make sure to pay it, of course. But that's what that's what's nice about America. You can afford anything if you have a good cash flow.